Hello everyone, this is Yesha and I am back with a new lesson which is matching information that is IELTS listening matching information question task. Today in this video, I am going to discuss the easy strategies for this difficult question task and I will help you to solve this question easily and quickly. So let us not waste any more time and proceed further to learn the strategy. So you can see the example question task which says that there is a question and the question is what problems do the speakers identify for this project? If you see there are seven questions from 24 to 30 and on the opposite side that is on the right hand side there is a box which talks about problems. The problems are mentioned with the help of the letters A to H. You need to match the questions with the options and this is called as matching information. So what is the definition of matching information? In a matching information question task, you are required to match a list of numbered items with a set of options in the question paper or on the computer screen. That means you will have to write the correct letters that is the given correct letters and these are the answers if it is a paper based examination and if it is a computer based examination then you just have to select the correct letter given from the list of options this is called as matching information question task so if you look into the question on the left hand side we have a numbered list of items that is from question 24 to 30 we have to select seven answers from the given options. So in the given options, that is a set of options actually contains eight answers. You will be eliminating one answer or you will not be including one answer from the list of options. We have the instruction which clearly says that you need to select seven answers from the box and write the letters A to H. A to H is actually we have eight answers and we'll be eliminating one as I said before. Now, what are the essential tips to remember while answering matching information question task? Number one, read the questions carefully and mark the keywords. Number two, understand the keywords by replacing them with synonyms. Number three, pay attention to these synonyms and expressions. Number four, Find the correct match by listening the audio attentively. Number five, note that questions follow the chronological order, but the answer options do not. Number six, you do not have to worry about the spellings. Thank you for watching it till here. If you want to learn more tips and strategies for IELTS, then check out the description below and book a free demo class today. Practice question task. So here we have the questions 24 to 30 and the question is what problems do the speakers identify for this project? So they may talk about background sounds and that would be the first item that would be discussed. The next one is answer of questions and the next would be one of the questions. Next time of answering 28 recording equipment and then topic of project and the last one is report on project you need to find the correct answer from the problems given on the right hand side. Now we will be playing the audio and it is a time that you attend the question task and give the answers in the comment section below. I see you worked hard calling players and the head coach to talk. So let's see what information you got. Well, you have to listen carefully to the first call on the recording. It's really hard to hear because the background noise is louder than the person's voice. Yes, it is a bit tough to discern. I'm afraid the player's answer is too short as well. You will have to interview him again and try to get him to give a better answer. OK, I thought that might happen. I will call him again tomorrow. Moving on, let's look back at this question. You asked... Tell me about a time when you learned a major life lesson through playing football and explain how that has shaped the person and player you have become now and how you hope to pass on that lesson. It is a great idea for a question, but in an oral interview it is far too complex. I would advise you to break it up into multiple parts to get a better response. 
I guess you're right. I wouldn't want to have to provide an answer to a question like that. I will simplify it. I found that when I asked players this question, it took too much time because they were struggling to answer the question completely. In fact, this is the question Joe Billings was answering when the tape ran out. He did tend to ramble on all the questions, didn't he? He sure did. I would recommend that when you go back and interview players again, that you use a more sophisticated recording device. This recording is spotty, which indicates that the equipment wasn't working consistently. OK, I guess it probably wasn't the best idea to use the sound recorder on my phone. Hey, could you give me some feedback on the content of the report itself? Sure. Let's start by focusing on your topic. While I like that you chose to cover football, it seems inexplicit. The keys for success of a player and team is quite an interesting topic, but what is your thesis? That is to say, what conclusions can you draw from your research? I would suggest coming up with a strong thesis statement and then shaping your report based on that. Is it really too vague? I put a whole lot of facts into it. I list the top 10 goal scorers in football history and later on provide statistics for a few of the most famous coaches and their records as coaches. I think that's great that you included these facts, but I think you focus too much on the facts and not enough on connecting these facts to make your point. Ah, I see. OK. So it looks like I have quite a bit of work to do before the deadline. So, when they actually talked about background sounds, they said that the answer is going to be too noisy. That is, they can actually experience a lot of background sound which can be very much noisy or which can be very loud and that is why the answer is D too noisy they definitely must must not have said too noisy they must have used different synonyms in context to noisy in the similar manner we have question number 25 answer of questions and the answer is F too short 26 one of the questions the answer is G, too complicated. 27, time of answering E, too long. 28, recording equipment C, too unreliable. 29, topic of project A, too vague. Number 30, report on project. The answer is B, too factual. Now here, if you just see, this can be predicted as well background sounds it actually talks about noise and definitely you should have predicted when you're reading the questions the answer can be d when we talk about answers then definitely it can be either too long or it can be too short so you can keep two answers in your mind or you can keep two answers with you and definitely any one would have been correct 26 one of the questions which says too complicated. So the questions can be easy or it can be complex. Time of answering. So it talks about the length and that's why it says either it can be short or it can be long. Recording equipment. You cannot rely on the recording or you cannot rely on the equipment and that's why it can be unreliable. Topic of project can be too disturbing or it can be too informal because when we talk about vague that means it can be informal report on project can be too factual that is it can include a lot of factual statements or it can include a lot of false statements so the answer can be either one here if you just read the questions you can definitely predict the answers before listening to the audio so this was a difficult question but I have tried it to make it easy with my easy strategies. We will come up with more strategies and more question tasks of different modules of IELTS in our future videos. So if you want to stay with us with the rest of the lessons, do not forget to like, share and subscribe IELTS Material YouTube channel. And if you want to learn IELTS for free, don't forget to follow this channel and to stay updated. Thank you.